Hi there, thanks for watching and welcome to our series of revegetation videos. Whether you are one of our Bush for Birds program grant recipients or whether you want to work on your piece of land independently, we welcome you to join us on this project that aspires to restore biodiversity for woodland bird protection in our landscape. Revegetation can be hugely beneficial for rural and urban areas, but it's important to do it right. Whether it's creating habitat for woodland birds and native wildlife, improving our water quality, providing shelter for livestock, or even producing commercial opportunities through farm forestry, Protecting, restoring and revegetating our landscape is just so important if we want to halt the decline of threatened species such as the region honeyeater and swift parrot. The benefits of restoration and revegetation can start to take effect immediately, but it takes a lot of planting, growing and fostering to start to bring about changes to the ecosystem so that critters such as birds and mammals will want to call your landscape home again. There's a bit more to revegetation than just burying seedlings in the ground. Successful revegetation requires proper planning and preparation to ensure the right plant goes in the right place. You'll save time and money and you'll get the best results. So the second video in this series will deal with how to plan your revegetation project. In videos three to six, we'll cover the key steps to get your plants prepped, in the ground and protected. Site preparation to ensure that your plants are put into soil that is well prepared for optimal root development and will grow unimpeded by weeds. Fencing and guarding to ensure your plants don't get munched on and the various planting techniques and tools you'll need to complete your project. In video seven, we'll talk about farm dams and what you can do to create a thriving oasis for biodiversity in your farm that supports your revegetation efforts. And of course, if there's anything we can do to help, we're only a phone call or an email away. Please use the details to contact us at the end of this video or visit us at our website. You can also get in contact with Trust for Nature or with your local land care group. Thanks for watching and enjoy.